I've seen thousands of people try to start an Amazon FBA business that just ends up going nowhere. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the specific reasons why I see a lot of new Amazon sellers fail so that you can avoid these common traps. So in this video, we're gonna dive into how much success Amazon sellers are still even having selling on the platform. We're gonna look at some examples of products that are actually profitable to sell on Amazon today. And we'll talk about the best time and way to actually go ahead and start an Amazon business that doesn't fail for you. But I wanna go ahead and get us started here with the first reason why a lot of new Amazon sellers fail. This is probably the most important. It's a big disclaimer here at the beginning of the video is that a lot of new Amazon sellers, they come in, they've seen videos of the gurus driving around Lamborghinis and talking about how easy it is to sell on Amazon. But the reality of pretty much any business that actually works is that it's going to take actual effort, right? So that's no different when it comes to selling on Amazon. I want to go ahead and set some realistic expectations for you. So when I started my Amazon business, I had about $1,500 to my name. Definitely not a huge startup budget. A lot of you guys are probably in that same position. And before you start selling on Amazon, you need to remember that Amazon is a game of spending money, right? So if you're seeing these big, massive, flashy results all over social media, you want to take advantage of it. Just keep in mind that you do actually need a good amount of capital to get massive results on Amazon, right? So when I started with a little bit of money, I was able to grow that quickly by selling used books, working really hard, flipping name brand stuff, right? And after about a year of doing Amazon part-time just on the side, I was able to grow that into about $30,000 in true profit, which then turned into an awesome nest egg to really invest in some great products and scale the business quickly from there. But the first thing you need to keep in mind is that this is not a get rich quick scheme. You need to have money to make money when it comes to selling products on Amazon. So if you're not willing to spend money and you're not willing to do hard work, click away. Amazon's not passive income. This is not for you. And on the channel, I've talked to over 50 successful Amazon sellers to really figure out when things start to click for most people. And a really common consensus among all of those sellers who have gone out to crush it, they're doing six figures a month. They've replaced their nine to five income. What a lot of them have repeated to me is that it takes about two to three months for you to really start understanding what you're doing when it comes to selling on Amazon, understanding what products will be good, what products you might lose a little bit of money on. And that's just the nature of the game, right? If you're watching this video and you want to start something that you get rich on in literally the first week, it's not going to stay like that for a long time. And I actually love that there's a good barrier to entry. There's a lot of learning involved in selling on Amazon, which is fantastic after you've gotten over that learning curve, because then everyone who's watching this video, who's watching a bunch of other videos, who's just lazy and not willing to put in the work, they're not going to make it. But you being the hard work, person, you're going to make it way further. In my personal Amazon business, it took me over a year to do my first $100,000 on Amazon. There's really no excuse for it to take you that long these days, though, because there's a ton of free information out there. If I had access to the same kind of information you guys do now through my YouTube channel, the free live classes we host, lots of great other trustworthy people you can learn from on YouTube as well. There's really no excuse for it to take you that long to learn Amazon these days. And the biggest thing you need to remember when it comes to setting these realistic expectations, you're not going to get rich on month one. Don't lollygag. Don't spend a month, two months watching YouTube videos. Go spend money on products. Test it out. See how it goes. The only way you're going to learn how to truly build a great Amazon business is by doing. And that's honestly where the vast majority of Amazon businesses die is where they expect way too crazy results and they just quit right away or they never even buy anything to begin with. They're like, huh, that's a good idea. And then it's tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. Never happens. And so now that you have some expectations set and you're willing to do the hard work that it takes to win on Amazon, I want to dive into the computer here and I'm going to show you an example of a profitable product. So when you're looking for products to sell on Amazon, keep it super simple, right? A lot of people talk about working with big wholesalers and spending thousands of dollars at a time or working with suppliers on Alibaba to create your own product. All that is fantastic. Those are great ways to make money. But if you're just trying to figure out if Amazon's even worth it, trying to figure out why people are quitting this business model, keep it super simple, right? So here's a quick example of a product that you might be worth selling on Amazon. And so I want you to take this example and learn from it. So here's just this random makeup product on a clearance type store, basically. We can buy it for 29 bucks and then over on amazon that same exact product selling for 58 bucks even selling for 61 here today so we can go 61 we're buying that for 29 dollars right there the nice part is that using seller amp here i've baked in all my shipping costs all that good stuff so this is actually our true profit here because we can make 20 dollars per unit on this product but the reason why i show you this example product is because i want to stress something that is extremely important it's reason number two why a lot of amazon sellers end up failing and it's because they stop at step one in the sourcing process right? So we're looking at this lead seems pretty good, right? The way that you can differentiate yourself from sellers who fail and sellers who go on to win for years and years selling on the platform is by getting your items as cheaply as possible. So looking at this website here, obviously we're making profit, but especially when you're finding items that aren't quite profitable, or you want to make sure that you're going to be profitable where others are not. First thing you want to always check is just check literally free coupon extensions. See if there's anything going on up here. I haven't typically seen too many coupons on this website here before. Like I said, it's a lot of like clearance type stuff, but we can still 
still take advantage of a couple other higher level discount methods, right? One of those being buying discounted gift cards. So there's a website called Card Bear. And anytime you go and buy a profitable product, there's no reason why you can't add a couple extra percent in profit to that purchase. And this is the stuff that those Amazon sellers who fail are just simply not doing, right? For example, we can get a 4% discount on our money buying gift cards from like Card Cash right now. So instead of buying this for 29, we can buy a couple hundred dollar gift cards for that 4% off basically. So we can do 29 times 0.96. We're just doing our rough percentage math there and our profit's gone up a little bit, right? Do the exact same thing using cash back. So there's a website called Cash Back Monitor. We can type in Nordstrom Rack right here. Let's go ahead and punch that in. And we can see all of the best cash back rates for the day. So now that seller who's just randomly bought the product sitting at retail price, there could be lots of other sellers who do the exact same thing, right? But if you're the seller who goes the extra mile and says, oh, okay, I can get an extra 6% cash back. I can get an extra 4% on card cash. A lot of sites you'll check and there'll be a 10% coupon up here, something like that. Another really good one to check if you're looking for discounts is down in the bottom of a lot of websites. If you punch your email address down in here, there's a good amount of websites that'll give you like a 10% off coupon code. And like I'm saying, these are just things that the average Amazon seller, the person who gets in is expecting it to be too easy and they end up quitting. They're not doing this, right? So these are the things you want to be doing if you really want to actually succeed on the platform is just go that extra mile, do the work that other people are not willing to do and you will win. And if you want to see my exact process for how I find tons of winning products like this, I have a bunch of like live sourcing videos on the channel. I'd really recommend you check one of those out after this video, but I'll just quickly show you the major hack for sourcing more profitable items is just going down on seller amp. We can look at a plethora of other sellers who already found this item profitably. Their stores are going to be full of a ton of other items that we can find profitably online. So you can see here's some like makeup brands that we could learn. Maybe you only want to stick with shoes and clothing. That's just kind of stuff you're familiar with. You can get in here, zero down into what they're actually selling. And I'm just going to filter Laura Mercier here. And as you're looking through these items, just getting some ideas, what are other people having success with on the platform? If you think you might be able to buy it for about half of what it's selling for, I'll just go ahead and hit that Google button right there. And then it basically searches that product title for me, right? So I can quickly see across a bunch of different websites if I can buy it for this number right here. Again, I don't want to go into too much detail here. I'm having too much fun getting into product sourcing. So if you want to check that out after this video, there's a bunch of other product sourcing videos on the channel. So when it really comes down to it, how many people are finding success with this business model? So I was doing some research into this for this video, because honestly, I've seen a lot of people succeed. I just talked to a lot of Amazon sellers who are they're high energy. They're willing to put in the effort. But I wanted to see like the hard data on it. How many people are actually successful with this stuff? So I want to go ahead and share those numbers with you right here. So I'm going to just pop open this article I found. And I thought this was really interesting, right? Of all the Amazon sellers who sell in the US marketplace, there's actually a pretty high amount. I did not expect there to be 350,000 people who did $100,000 in sales which is awesome. And what was even more surprising to me was that there are over 60,000 people who are selling a million dollars or more on Amazon every year. See, there's a lot of other surprising ones here, like 24,000 sellers doing 2.5 million a year. This is me right here. I'm doing about $2.5 million a year. There's no reason why you can't join the ranks here and become one of these really top selling Amazon sellers. Because honestly, if you ask the vast majority of these sellers, I've asked a ton of them here on the channel, pretty much all of them say that Amazon is 10, 20% secret sauce and the rest is just simply doing the work, being willing to wake up, look for some products, ship out some products, take care of your business every day. And it's really just all about that daily progress. But like we were talking about a little bit at the beginning, the sellers who hop in, they're expecting to be in the million dollar seller range within a couple months. They're the ones who just aren't able to stick with it. They're not able to see that long-term vision and see that right now it's hard. In the future, it gets way easier, right? So hopefully you understand that if you're watching this video, that right now it will be hard. But as you continue to scale your business, there's no reason why you can't join and be one of these honestly hundreds of thousands of sellers who are making a pretty significant chunk in the income in their life, right? Even if you're only selling 100,000 bucks a month, that's still a big boost to your income. You can easily do that on the side of your nine to five. I've talked to plenty of other guys on the channel who are running seven figure businesses on the side of their nine to five. It's really just all about, do you enjoy selling on Amazon and are you willing to do the hard work? And if you're watching this video as it's coming out, now is the best time of the year to get serious about selling on Amazon. The back half of the year between back to school, Q4, Halloween, lots of these major holidays create some insane opportunities for massive increased prices, massive profits, and just people love whipping out the credit card to buy stuff on Amazon during the back half of the year. So if you're watching, this is your sign to take this stuff seriously and start getting after it. If you found this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button. That helps me out for sharing a little bit of value with you. Let me know if you have any comments, confusions, anything like that. Always happy to answer those down below. And if you want to see my exact sourcing process for how I find tons of winning products, please steal the sourcing method that I break down right here. Really appreciate you watching this video and I will see you next time.